Hi everybody, Lori here from My Favorite Things. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a colorful hello project to share with you using products from the latest August release. I'm gonna start with the new Paint Strokes stencil. This is really cool. It's got five different paint stroke openings so you can blend a gorgeous paint stroke. And blending is my favorite thing to do. So I'm gonna start with some Kitsch Flamingo. I'll be using all little mini distress inks. I've got them in my little ink stand here, which I love to use, especially for the minis. And I'm just blending away. I am going a little bit heavier handed on one side of the paint stroke, just to give it that slight bit of gradient love. I love that look. And then I'm gonna overlap. I'm just gonna work my way. I don't really have a plan. I want them to all be wonky, kind of hanging off the edge of the white panel. Uh, this time I'm using a little candied apple. So I'm working my way through the paint strokes rainbow. As you can see, I did not mask above this paint stroke. And yes, I did get it in to my Kitsch Flamingo in a very bad way, but I will show you near the end. See that little bit of boo-boo there? We're gonna cover it up. We're not gonna start over. We're gonna make it work. Okay, so I'm using some purple masking tape. A lot of times I use post-it tape. Uh, here I'm doing uh, Spice Marmalade. And again, here's the magic. When the blended paint strokes overlap, so you get a little bit of that Spice Marmalade paint stroke overlapping with the candied apple, it's like, forget about it. That's the best thing ever. Okay, so here we are now with a little mustard seed. I used to always use squeeze lemonade, but I find now I'm in more of a mustard seed phase. I find I get a little more vibrancy with it. Potato, potato. You could do this with any ink colors. You could customize the colors, any ink brands, it'll all work. Okay, so every time, if I'm not showing it, I am cleaning my stencil, but I do try to reuse the masking tape as much as I can, um, trying to be thrifty. If you want to be nifty okay here we have a little my favorite color um twisted citron and then uh, what we got cracked pistachio i love cracked pistachio when it overlaps with twisted citron we are right in the throes of back to school season here um my youngest emma started seventh grade and here in our town our uh, junior high is its own school. So we have a school just for seventh and eighth graders. And it's a big deal. Junior high is a big deal. She wants to do all the sports right now. She's right in the mix of uh, cross country. And then um, Bailey just started freshman year of college and she's hoping to go abroad. She wants to either go to Florence or maybe Austria. She's still trying to decide. And she is studying graphic design, just like my oldest daughter just like I did. So it runs thick. It runs thick. And um, okay, what are we on purple here? Wilted violet. Now here's where I'm going to show you. I covered up that mistake from the beginning. I'm going to overlap that little bit of boo-boo and I'm going to blend picked raspberry, which is dark enough to just overpower that little mistake. And that, my friends, is what you call magic. Little trick of the trade to cover up a boo-boo. A lot of times I try to cover up boo-boos with embellishments, maybe a sentiment strip, and then sometimes you can just blend over that thing. I decided to add a little bit more in this corner here with uh, Wild Honey. It just ha had a bit of an empty corner. So there you have your paint strokes background. Now I'm pulling out this new Tall Hello Dynamics. And I'm gonna die cut this Tall Hello right into this blended background and you'll see this is what um i did this gosh i should look back and see how long it's been okay so i did a quick little google search years ago in fact back in 2014 i used to do make it monday videos for paper tray ink and i did this technique called camouflage die cuts and this is what i i call that i didn't invent this but i'm just telling you since 2014 how many years is that i'm not good with math it's a long time. Um, this is where you die cut right into a, either pattern paper or a blended background, and then you inlay your die cut. So it's sort of camouflaged 
if you will. But I went ahead and die cut three more of that tall hello out of white and I stacked them up so that they stick out so you can see it, but yet it's still really not competing with those blended strokes in the background. And then I'm going to take a panel of just scrap white cardstock and cover it with tape runner and carefully just slide this whole shebang right onto there and hold it all down steady. Okay, so camouflage die cuts. It's been done, been done a lot since, but it is something to stretch your products. Do a little blending, die cut your sentiment right into it, pop it up, piece it back in, and then I'm gonna pop this whole panel onto a soft gray card base. Now this is an old stamp set, it's called Biddy Hugs and Kisses, but it is a staple, probably one of my most used, my favorite thing stamp sets of all time. It just has every sentiment you need for any occasion. Just got the right ones. It's a classic font. I'm going to emboss this one says sending a paper hug. I'm going to emboss it in white on a little strip of black cardstock. So I rubbed that down with a magic powder bag, inked up the sentiment with Versamark ink, poured on some white embossing powder, and then heated up with a heat gun. I trimmed it into a thin little sentiment strip. Now what I'm doing here is trimming some little strips of foam tape to strategically place in between those die cut letters so that my sentiment strip can lay flat like so. Okay, so I'm taking off the backing of the sentiment strips and then I'll just lay on, try to center it, get it straight, and then to finish it off a, a few of these little clear drops here and there, just staggered like little drops of love so what do you think? Are you, are you going to give the camouflage die cutting technique a try? I'm sending you some paint strokes, tall hello paper hugs. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.